so welcome to the second video of unit 6 in this video we are going to deal with the cyclic AMP so this is a structure of cyclic AMP so let's discuss how this is formed and what are its important biological functions so what's its components so it has a ribose sugar a nitrogen basis and a phosphate group so there are three components nitrogen basis is adenine and ribose sugar and a phosphate group the adenine is linked to the ribose through this bond is called n glycosidic bond while the phosphate group is attached to this phosphate group is attached to ribose is attached to ribose through at 5 dash and 3 dash position so it forms a cycle here hence it is called a cyclic AMP cyclic adenosine monophosphate so cyclic adenosine monophosphate or CAMP or cyclic AMP or 3 dash 5 dash cyclic adenosine monophosphate is the second messenger important in many biological process we'll discuss what is a second messenger so where does it from where it formed cyclic AMP is produced from or it is derived from adenosine triphosphate which is you already studied so this is an adenosine triphosphate this is an adenine nitrogen base this is a ribose sugar and this is 3 phosphate hence adenosine triphosphate and how does a cyclic AMP is produced from adenosine triphosphate let's look formation of cyclic AMP so this is what an adenosine triphosphate and there is an enzyme called adenyl cyclase so adenyl cyclase breaks this bond and liberate two phosphate group two phosphate groups are re released and one phosphate an adenine and a ribose sugar is formed so this forms what a cyclic AMP now cyclic AMP there is an enzyme called phosphodiesterase breaks this bond this bond and it forms AMP the cycle is removed the ring forms is removed it forms the AMP adenosine monophosphate so in the cyclic AMP there is a bond here there is a phosphoester bond here at the fifth position of carbon atom and there is a sixth third position of the carbon atom so there are two phosphate phosphoester bond hence it is called diester bond so very simple from ATP the adenyl cyclase breaks and removes two phosphate groups then this phosphate group attached to the third portion of the ribose sugar hence it forms cyclic AMP so what is this biological functions what are the biological functions these hormones like a catecholamine catecholamine which means which are synthesized from the adrenal gland like adrenaline or adrenaline vasopressin or ADH adrenocorticotropic hormone so binds to this so this is a cell this is a cell membrane this one is a cell membrane and this is the receptor for the hormones hmm? we are discussing what what is the role of cyclic AMP it's already said it is a second messenger and who is the first messenger the first messenger is the hormone hmm? the hormone cannot enter into a cell some of the hormones which are larger in size cannot enter into the cells just like to see a chief minister or a prime minister you cannot directly go to the prime minister chamber you need permission there will be a PA just like so first messenger is the hormone it cannot directly enter into the cells because it's larger size there is some restrictions so this first messenger hormone binds to the receptor hmm? when the hormone binds to the receptor there will be some changes so there are inside there are some other proteins called GTP uh, G protein which binds with GTP which will activate an enzyme called adenyl cyclase which is partly located in the cell membrane and some of the part of the enzyme located inside the cells are you getting so this is 
so adenyl cyclase so this enzyme adenyl cyclase enzyme convert the atp inside the cells into cyclic amp so this is called the second messenger so who is the first messenger is the hormone and the hormone binds to the receptor it activate a g protein which stimulates the adenyl cyclase to convert atp into cyclic amp so this is a second messenger so this second messenger activate a series of enzymes called protein kin protein kinase a which makes some physiological changes so this is a very important functions and it regulate gene expression in eukaryotes and prokaryotes you know the gene ex expression you heard about the operon concept switching on for switching off of uh, switching on and off of the genes so this is called regulation regulator just like a regulator it raises the blood glucose levels how the first there are the many methods by which raises the blood glucose level first one is the mobilization of glucose from glycogen so where is the glycogen stored is the glycogen is stored in the muscles and liver from there it mobilizes into the bloodstream second one inhibiting glycogenesis what is the glycogenesis glycogenesis is synthesis of glycogen from glucose from the glucose glycogenesis glycogen is formed so this is this process is called glycogenesis so it inhibit glycogenesis means what there will be plenty of glucose and third one is to stimulate gluconeogenesis gluconeogenesis means what synthesis of glucose from non carbohydrate like protein and lipids so this is called stimulate gluconeogenesis formation of formation of glucose from non carbohydrates and the third one is what stimulate lipolysis lipolysis means breaking down of lipids and the lipids are broken down it convert into glucose so this four method increases the blood glucose level got it the first one is glucose from glycogen glycogen and they convert in glucose are converting inhibiting glycogenesis means what conversion of uh, glycogen is prevented so there will be plenty of glucose and third one is stimulate the gluconeogenesis that means glucose is found from non carbohydrate and fourth one is lipolysis that means fats are converted into glucose